If 2024's economy can be summed up by a single word, it would probably be clean sweep by NVIDIA. Because not only the entire US economy is being carried by this GPU designing company, our entire net worth is probably on its back too. And today, this company that will probably determine if you can retire in 5 years has its biggest annual event, GTC, with CEO Jensen Huang delivering the keynotes of the major developments in NVIDIA for this year. While AI is still on the side, is stacking more layers than ever, NVIDIA is keeping up with this trend by announcing its newest AI super chip called Blackwell. Packed with 208 billion transistors and 192 GB of HPM, this bad boy can run a staggering 10 petaflops on Flow.8, which is capable of running models up to 10 trillion parameters. To put that number into perspective, 4090 has like 90 teraflops on a good day, so Blackwell GPU has like 100 times more compute than 4090, or nearly 2.5 times more compute than a H100. Additionally, with their newly announced 5th gen NVLink and NVLink Switch 7.2T, which has like 1.8 TB per second by directional bandwidth. If we were to build such a chip, we can have every single GPU talk to every other GPU at full speed at the same time. These Blackwell bad boys can then be linked up with some great CPUs with a 2 to 1 ratio to create GB200. Then they stack 36 of these GB200s to create an absolute unit that is GB200 NVL72. This Omega Chungus of a machine can actually act as a singular GPU, with 1.4 exaflops of inference speed and 30 TB of fast memory. And when you combine eight of these, you would get this new DGX Superpod, which would be available at major clouds. With Black well, their second generation transformer engine enables two times more compute and bandwidth on FP4 for transformer models. It improves the communication bottleneck that mixture of experts models have, which can ensure high-speed communication across 576 GPUs for super large MOE models, up to 30 times speed up if the MOE model has 1.8 trillion parameters. However, this is the only GPU hardware announcement we got, so the 50 series might still be far away from us, but they do have have some other cool developments to accelerate the world of robotics. The new project grew. I am Groot which stands for Generalist Robot 00 Technology, uses a multimodal transformer-based model that takes text, videos, and demonstrations as inputs and outputs the actions for the robot. NVIDIA also unveiled a new robot computer called Jetson Thor based on the Blackwell architecture, which when combined with Groot Foundation models will accelerate the development of embodied AI robots. However, embodied robots need a massive amount of data and gathering real-life data is not as efficient either. So they introduced Isaac Lab App, which is designed specifically for reinforcement learning and is built on top of Isaac Sim that can run thousands of parallel simulations for robot learning in order to scale up training. In addition, Nvidia also announced Isaac Manipulator and Isaac Perceptor, where Isaac Manipulator offers state of the art dexterity for robotic arms with 80 times speed up, and Isaac Perceptor, which uses 3D surround vision capabilities from multi cameras to help improve performance for autonomous mobile robots. But Nvidia's quest into improving factory's efficiency does not stop here. With their latest digital twin technology that creates a digital counterpart for a real-world system, NVIDIA's Omniverse and the newly announced Metropolis gives industrial operations a jaw-dropping amount of optimizations. With worker simulations, robot simulations, and warehouse digital twin, a super large-scale events planning system can easily be made. And with hundreds of cameras, sensors, and real-time feedbacks, it can improve the efficiency of managing fleets of robots robots in a factory, and even improve human-robot collaboration in places such as supply chain distribution centers. And you can use it on Apple Vision Pro. On the digital side, NVIDIA is also launching their own generative AI services at ai.nvidia.com, where you can experience open-source models like LLMs, text to image audio synthesis, or even medical models. However, NVIDIA itself is a platform, not a model-building company, because these are actually microservices deployed with their latest API called NVIDIA NIM, where it bridges millions of products together and serves it to you with 4.5k per GPU per year or $1 per GPU per hour. A video NIM connects pre-existing model builders and accelerated computing systems for you so you can run any AI-related products as easy as printing Hello World. And if you really think about it, NVIDIA is literally everywhere. They are probably the only company that works with every AI company right now, which is nuts. But yeah, that's it for today's quick summary of GTC 2024. There are other interesting announcements like Earth Digital Twin for weather prediction, aka Earth 2. 
Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Which is designed for extreme precision global weather prediction. And there are some cool omniverse rendering on the keynote. There are not animations, by the way. So definitely check out the keynote. And you can even attend the conference virtually for other interesting panels and have the chance to win an RTX 4080 Super. NVIDIA actually sent me this to give away to you guys and to attend this giveaway. You just need to attend at least one virtual GTC session between March 18th to March 21st and show a proof of you attending it, which is pretty straightforward. For the proof, I just need you to take a selfie while watching any of the live virtual GTC sessions. And if you don't want to show your face, you can just show a thumbs up with the live GTC session on your monitor. And also very important, you have to use my link down in the description to sign up for the virtual GTC session, or else they wouldn't know I hooked you up with some good NVIDIA workshops or panels. Because this time, the original authors of the paper, Attention is All You Need, which gave rise to the Transformer architecture that every LLM uses now, is hosting a panel session on March 20th. This is definitely going to be one of the highlights and I highly recommend you to attend it virtually. So add the event to your calendar now and take a selfie attending it virtually to win a 4080 Super. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Deegan, Chris Ledoux, Alex Shea, Alex Maries, Miguelim, Fafal, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.